We're in Aberdeenshire for the first ride of my all new Scott Genius. First off, we're in Burst Woods. The trails here are natural with a man made feel about them. There's some jumps and some rollers, a little bit tech, just super fun warm up trails. Super fun morning on the trails in Burst. They're just so playful and the bike makes you want to go faster. We've now pedaled over to Glen Tanner Estate and we're riding a trail called Master Blaster. This one's a little bit more technical. It's in the Cairngorms National Park and the forest that we're riding through is absolutely stunning. lap of Master Blaster done to finish the day. The Genius is feeling really good. It's well within its limits. There's some really slippy sections, there's some jumps, and to be able to control the bike, it's doing it superbly. The suspension's just feeling really balanced, got plenty of grip. And tomorrow we're gonna head somewhere where it's faster, it's out in the open, there's even bigger compressions, and I can't wait to show you what it's like there. Good morning! Today we're on one of my favourite trails in the whole of Scotland, Heartbreak Ridge. We've climbed up in the dark, caught sunrise and we even heard some stags roaring. We're about to drop into the descent. This is an absolute stunner. You've got big panoramic views, there's compressions in there, rock slabs and it finishes in a pine forest. This pretty much encapsulates Scotland in one trail. Let's go! There we go, that's Heartbreak Ridge, a true Scottish mountain bike trail where you start in the big mountains, finish in the forest. 
The genius, he could see it was working on those big rock slabs. It was easily finding grip. It was munching up some of those big compressions and you could see that I was using all 150 millimeters rear travel and 160 millimeters up front. I'm feeling really comfortable on it and I'm absolutely loving it. All right, I'm gonna interrupt this ride to tell you 10 things about my Scott Genius Super Trail tuned. Look at that chassis. It has been completely redesigned. The shock is now integrated in the frame. Super easy access to the all new Fox shock. 150 millimeters of travel in the rear, 160 millimeters up front. 64.5 degree head angle plus or minus 0.6 degrees. Integrated headset cable routing. Longer reach and wheelbase. A frame weight of 2,295 grams. External sag indicator for ease of setup. It's been completely redesigned and overall it's longer, lower and slacker. Let's get back to the trails. First thing we're gonna do today, get a coffee. Gone now. Yeah. Just feeling up, ready to explore the trails of Pit Ficky. We're at the top of Macchiato! This morning we had a flat white and that was macchiato. It's fast, rough and loose. There's some real big compressions in there. The Genius was working so well. And one thing I would say about it is how quiet it is. They've reworked the cable routing. There's no noise, there's no rattles and everyone knows a fast bike is a quiet bike. It's also so confidence inspiring. There's loads of grip, it feels stable. It's got loads of control. And now we're gonna head over to a trail called Phoenix Downhill to do some more. That's work in the bike. There we go then, that is the first ride of my Scott Genius Super Trail done. Three really fun locations, a Boyne, Heartbreak Ridge in Ballater, and Pitfiki. And across them, I think it really shows the capability and versatility this bike offers. It's an amazing climber, it descends so well, it's fun, it's fast, and I absolutely love it. If you've got any comments or if you've got questions about the Genius, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumb up like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.